Hey guys, this is Mike from Diaz. Today, we talk about the Toad Life Simulator game in the treasure ecosystem called Toad Souls with a Z. In this game, you spend your time living as a toad in the ever evolving land of Crokeshire. We didn't get in the Toad Souls whitelist, but our friends over at Toad Souls gave us access to their testnet so we can try out the game and cover all the stuff you can do in Crokeshire. Let's begin! This is the land of Crokeshire, a cute, 8-bit interconnected island that looks like one of those NES games we had as kids. There's also this catchy background music for the game that changes depending on your current location. There are three places you could visit in Crokeshire, the Mighty Marsh, Croke E-Mart, and the Temple of the Toadstone. There are currently four Toad NPCs inhabiting Crokeshire that you meet when progressing. We'll go ahead and visit every location in the game. So first, let's visit Mighty Marsh where we'll meet our first NPC, Wormtongue the Great. Here, we can stake our toads and hunt bugs. As you can see, we have five toads currently hunting for bugs. And we don't have anything to claim because I just claimed today. When we collect enough bugs, we can now proceed to Croak Emart, which is run by the two sisters of Crokeshire, Queen Lee, the town elder, and Pada, the toadsmith. We can use our hard earned bugs to buy equipment such as access. Well, only access for now. But the team says there will be more to buy in the future. Math says you need around a week of hunting to be able to buy access for the next location. So finally, we visit the Temple of the Toadstone where we get introduced to the final toad, Wart, and with the help of the crystal, teleport to one of the three forests. We have the Peeping Pines, which drops pine and toadwood, the Slimy Forest, which drops oak and buffo wood, and finally, we have the Raven's Redwoods, which drops redwood and witchwood. The drop rate of rare wood is dependent on the axe you buy. Wood axe has a 10% chance of getting rare wood. Iron axe has a 25% chance. And there are also other axes that are obtained through off-chain events, such as the gold axe, which has the 50% chance of getting wood, and the diamond axe, which has a 100% chance of getting wood. Everything we've discussed so far is the gameplay loop for toadstools. We hunt bugs, buy some access, chop some trees, and get some logs. There's currently no utility for the logs, aside from selling it on the treasure marketplace. You also cannot exchange bugs to magic currently, or vice versa. But we could sell all the items that we get in-game through the treasure marketplace. Well, this is going to change though, as the guys at Toad Souls gave me the thumbs up to share with you guys some stuff they are going to announce soon. First, houses will play a very big factor in the game. Using 5 wood pieces we've gathered, we can build our first house, which will be randomly generated and have different styles, and will also unlock various new features for our toads. There's also a new section of the map that will be available that will implement some cool features, such as the integration of Butterfly's flywheel, and finally, the reveal of the Gachapon machine, where you can get special collectible trophies from various collaborations. So Toadstools actually started out as a free mint, like many other NFTs in the treasure ecosystem. With 8,888 unique Toad NFTs minted out. Now, the current floor price of a Toad is around 430 magic. Access range from 1.5 magic all the way to 100 magic. While wood ranges from 7 to 10 for common wood and around 40 to 50 for rare wood. And there's also the rarest wood of them all, Sakura wood, which goes for about 350 magic. I haven't mentioned Sakura wood earlier, but Sakura wood has a 1% chance to drop in any forest. 
So, what are my thoughts in the game? I think Toadstools is a pretty fun and chill game in the treasure ecosystem. The art looks nice, and the background music is fun and catchy. You can treat it like a Tamagotchi game and be rewarded in the process. Their Discord community is also very lively and frequently holds off-chain events that can earn in-game rewards such as access and even toads. One point of improvement for me would be the character's speech, as the characters currently use some kind of Simlish or Animal Crossing language, but the lack of variety in the speech and some awkward short audio for long text is a room for improvement. So this is our overview for the Toadstools game in the treasure ecosystem. We also discussed Battlefly, Bridge World, and Tales of Valeria in other videos that you can check out in our YouTube channel. Also, if you like this content and would like to see more magic content in the future, be sure to like this video and subscribe so that you'll get notified when we upload a new video. If this is your first time in the magic ecosystem, do check out our tutorial on how to get your first magic token using Binance, SushiSwap, and the Arbitrum Bridge.